Hello again, good afternoon. It's going to turn increasingly dull and damp across northwestern parts of the country through the rest of Wednesday, but we will continue to see warm sunshine elsewhere. Some brightness to be had in the far north and northeast of Scotland, but the best of any sunshine really across much of England and Wales, especially East Anglia and the southeast, where temperatures will reach 25 or 26 degrees. We're seeing those temperatures climb over the next few days. It's not necessarily cold in the north. It's going to turn increasingly humid, actually, as cloud and rain pushes across Scotland through the evening, as well as reaching northwest England, parts of West Wales and Northern Ireland. And this cloud is associated with that fairly humid air, and as such, it is quite low cloud. Hill fog, coastal fog drizzle around some of these western hills once the heavier bursts of rain push away into the North Sea. So a dull start to Thursday for much of western and southern Scotland, northwest England, Wales and Northern Ireland. The cloud will lift and break in places, but it's going to stay generally damp and gloomy for parts of western Scotland through the day. Sunny spells elsewhere, and it's going to be warm again on Thursday, quite widely. Low 20s in the north, high 20s further south. Now, this is the weather front that's responsible for all the cloud and rain in the northwest, but as you can see, it runs into quite a large area of high pressure as we end the week, and that means that that weather front will become increasingly weak. It will still, though, hold a lot of cloud, and for Scotland, Northern Ireland, northwestern England and Wales, there will be quite cloudy skies on Friday and a few showers, especially for eastern Scotland and northeast England when temperatures rise. And those temperatures will reach the low 20s on Friday afternoon. But further south, the heat builds high 20s, if not 30 degrees in the southeast. So with high pressure in charge this weekend, many places will be fine. Again, there'll still be a few showers around, but for most, it's a dry picture on Saturday and Sunday, and it will be hottest in the south with temperatures in the low 30s. More details on the Met Office website through the app. And of course, you can keep up to date with all the developments over the next few days via the Met Office social media channels. Bye-bye.